Welcome back, GJH here for episode number three. We'll just jump right into it here. What am I drinking today? This caught my eye in the store and we're gonna have to go with the Havana Club Cuban Smoky Rum. So I realized in episode one that I had some Owen Sound Attack swag with the jersey, but in episode two, I didn't have anything Buffalo. So this is the closest thing I have that's Buffalo with this Buffalo Bills hat. I'm sure it's uh, Josh Allen approved, right? Y'all see that though with Josh Allen sacking Josh Allen? I always thought that when you got sacked, it meant that you got kicked in the balls. All right, enough of that shit though. So we'll jump right into it here with pregame coming up to the first NHL game for Bruce Gray. We got some storyline answers here and it's getting me a little bit closer to that spinorama. And with this next one, it's getting me a little bit closer to being magnetic to control that puck off of bad pass or something like that. Just speed it up here and and Bruce Gray is going to give some star answers to the media before game one of the regular NHL season. And it's going to give me a little bit of a different uh, scenario here where I get a chance to persuade uh, the media. Let's try that and it fails. So that's okay. They don't believe me. They think I'm full of shit. And rightfully so. Bruce Gray is a rookie. But moving on, we got a meeting with GM Manhands. And this is kind of an interesting meeting because um, she kind of sets up a proposition again, which she offered in the past. So she gives me another opportunity to ask for a trade. And with everything going on in the media right now with the Buffalo Sabres. A trade that took months to finally piece together reached the tipping point late Wednesday night as the Buffalo Sabres move their former captain, Jack Eichel, to the Vegas Golden Knights. It's the blockbuster trade we've been waiting for. Jack Eichel is going to the Vegas Golden Knights. Should I get traded? I might have to smoke a joint and think about this for a second. I think I'm going to have to stay with the Buffalo Sabres because Bruce Gray is a fucking stud. He's kind of loyal and he wants to be the fucking face, the main man of Buffalo. 716. So game one against the Montreal Canadiens. And we have a cut scene here, so we just kind of got to sit through this shit. I'm just going to speed it up. Okay, first period. Bruce doesn't start the game, but rightfully so. He is a rookie, but a couple shifts in, he gets absolutely bitched. Doesn't like that. And then about a minute and a half or so left in the first period, he gets a beauty shot, but Tendy gets the glove on it. Bruce then gets tripped up and just a quick speed up here. Same play. Bruce ends up getting his first NHL career assist over to the man that no longer exists. Second period, Bruce does a bit of a dipsy doodle in the corner, ends up skating in front of the net and backhands it past the goalie's glove for his first NHL goal. Mascot is losing his shit. Make sure to grab that puck and uh, give it to the equipment manager. And then Bruce gets bitched again and someone's stepping up to fight for him because uh, he's down for the count. And really this is how the game would end for Bruce. Finishes the game with one goal, one assist and seven hits. Not bad for your first NHL career game. Post game, you know Bruce Gray's just gonna give some motherfucking star answers right here. And he's gonna act out on one of these answers cause I'm Bruce Gray, bitch. Game two against the Arizona Coyotes would take it up in the first period. Bruce slides it over for an assist. A little bit later on, Bruce is in the corner, comes out, puts it blocker side goal. And then Bruce throws it on net and goalie's looking like butter on that goal. Second period of play, Bruce has two guys chasing him and Computer D doesn't know what the hell he's doing and Bruce just skates by and puts it glove side. A little later, Bruce passes it to Gergensons and expects the give and go, but instead Gergensons throws it on net and goalie looking like butter on that one again. Third period. Bruce gets bitched, but then gets back up and the puck is passed to him and he says, fuck you, slap shot, goal. Coach wants a word and he's loving it and he's like, there's a stripper waiting for you after the game, bud. Later on, Buffalo's up 8-1 to one and goalie just looks like butter once again. Just a weak goal. And it wasn't over there. Buffalo's up 9-1 to one and Arizona's pissed off. So they're like, Bruce, buddy, you've been getting it done all night. We got to fight you. See what you're worth. So you know Bruce is going to go for the Gordy Howe hat trick and he's just laying it to him. He's not giving up, man. He's pissed off too. He's like, I'm motherfucking Bruce Gray, bitch. Man, a couple of haymakers there, and then boom, you're down on the ice, bitch. Bruce Gray. 
first star of the game. Five goals, three assists, seven hits. First star. And I'm going to bank that skill tree point. And then Jack Eichel afterwards, he's like, hey, do you want to go uh, check out the Grand Canyon? And Bruce is like, bitch, I know that something is up here. You don't want the Grand Canyon. Next thing you know, we end up in Las Vegas. And Eichel just bought strippers for the boys all night. Fucking legend. Next thing you know, we're at an open house. And he's like, yeah, boys, just bought this place. Check out my couch. I think he's been playing this shit for a while. All right, now we have a bit of a cut scene here where we have Bruce Gray, and he's going to do some storyline shit, but that's really kind of irrelevant right now because it looks like this is the chance where I get to add the spinorama uh, ability. So he's now an X Factor player, and I, I, I guess there's going to be an achievement unlock for this shit as well. So um, I, I will probably never really use the spinorama. That's not really in my... Uh, it's not really my style of play, so we're just gonna speed through the rest of this shit here. So when I speed through the game here, it usually saves 30 to 60 seconds of time. And um, in in this kind of mode, that, that's a lot of time that adds up and it, it really does slow the friggin' game down a lot. Anyways, game three against the fucking Vancouver Canucks. I'm drunk, first period of play. Bruce kind of does his thing in the corner as usual and then skates in front of the net, blocker side, goal, and then my video capture card decides to take a bit of a shit. So we miss out on some footage, that's great. And then look at this next play, I'm just fucking sitting here, nothing, doing nothing. And then let's just take a shot, goal. Fuck this game. Bruce then gets a doing nothing assist, on to the second period of play. Coach is like, I'll buy you a cart and a darts butt if you get a goal this next play. So Bruce is like, fuck yeah. Gets his goal. Coach is like, here's your fucking cart and a darts bod. Third period of play. Bruce is just skating up the ice and kind of just skates past everyone and then fucking backhanded in. Goalie went for the poke and just completely missed it. The mascot is loving it. Coach is like, beers on me tonight, boys. First star, four goals, one assist, and a 14 hits. And we're just going to jump right into game four. No fucking around. And it's against Boston. I always expect it's going to be a tough game against Boston, but I, I, I don't know. Their goalie just doesn't seem up to the task. You're not up to the task when you don't have Tuka Rask. See what I did there? Anyways, first period of play. Not a whole lot happening, and Bruce gets a goal in the last four minutes of play second period bruce gets a stretch pass skates up and just says whoop excuse me keeps going slides it over for an assist later on a beautiful bank pass off the boards bruce throws it up skates in gets it back then throws it glove side for another goal then heading over to the third period of play bruce says bitch and then boston says goal Game tied, three goals apiece. Overtime didn't solve anything, so right into the shootout. And Bruce Gray just doesn't get a chance at the shootout. I guess I kind of fucked that up in preseason. That's okay, though. Boys get it done and win it in shootout. And we're just going to gear up for game five. But that's going to be happening in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe to my take on NHL Be a Pro and Bruce Gray and all my bullshit, you know. On the next episode, will EA have a live roster update for Be a Pro? <laughs> Probably not. It is EA Games after all. Will my video capture card take another shit? Damn you, Amazon, and your $30 video capture cards. And I take a woodworking class.